In this video, we're going to be showing you a new product that we've now got in stock. It's uh, XTC3D, um, and it's a really cool way to finish your prints. Um, we're going to be showing you how to finish this whole character that we've done. So we've already taken it um, and sanded it down, um, and we've painted the shorts and the hair. So we're going to look to use this uh, two-part coating on the body and on the feet, um, and then we're going to see how it turns out. Okay, so we're going to have a look at what's in the box. As you see, it's got some instructions on the back, and there's a list of the different materials this can be applied to. So if we open it up, first thing we've got is a measuring cup, so we can uh, figure out what we need of part A and part B. This is the application sponge that they give you. There's a mixing stick. Is uh, part A of the mixture. So this is a uh, two to one mixture, so two of A to one of B. And there's part B. And then last, we have some uh, instructions and the data sheet for the XTC 3D. So let's have a look at the print we're going to be working on. This is an old Hulk model that we printed on the Ultimaker 2. Uh, it was printed at 60 microns um, and it has about a 20% infill and it's just regular PLA. Um, as you can see it's a little bit rough but we have sanded it down um, and the underside of the arms was particularly rough where the support structure was. So that's been removed and left some nasty marks. So it's a little bit rough to the touch but hopefully with the XTC application we can smooth that out. Now we're going to use masking tape to mask off parts of the model that we don't want to be affected with the XTC 3D, uh, which is the shorts and the hair. Um, so we're just going to wrap this up and then trim off the edges. Now we're just going to go around the edges of the masking tape with a scalpel. So just be careful and just trim away the edges that you don't need and then we'll just peel those off. So now we have a nice neat mask around the areas we don't want to be affected by the XTC 3D and we can start making up the mixture. So there's a few extra things you'll need. You'll need some tin foil. Um, we'll place the 3D print on top of that just to not get any of the uh, mixture on the table. And we'll also make a little dish to thoroughly mix up the mixture ready to go onto the model itself. You'll also need some gloves because this stuff's pretty sticky. So now we can begin making the mixture. So we'll take part A and it's two parts of part A to one part of part B. Um, and you want to make sure you vigorously shake up the bottles before you pour them out. So that's part A, and now we'll add part B. You're going to make sure you stir these up really well, make sure you get all sides of the container, and then when you pour it out, just continue to mix it for a minute or so. and that should be about fine. So now we can apply the mixture onto the model itself. We use the uh, brush that was supplied, it's a sponge brush. You can use a chip brush for this as well, um, but we're just using what's supplied. And uh, it's quite good because it gets in all the little crooks and crannies. So we'll just apply a thin layer at first and then we'll add a second coat later once this is dried.
To speed up the curing time, you can use a heat gun, uh, but just recommended to use it on a low heat setting and not to, uh, to overheat the model. Okay, so it's a little bit tacky still, but it's ready to take a second coat. Um, unfortunately, the brush that's applied, we left it a bit too long and it's gone rock solid. So what we've done is just made a makeshift brush up ourselves out of a scourer and some coffee mixing sticks. So it's pretty much the same thing and we'll just apply the second coat with this. The final result looks really impressive and adds a nice contrast between the different surface finishes. We could also sand down the XTC 3D and repaint if desired. This is a great product for achieving a glossy smooth finish and is easier and safer than using acetone vapours. If you'd like to try XTC 3D for yourself, click on the link above. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Also, come follow us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. You can find out more about our products and services by visiting dream3d.co.uk.